Fam, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Run the thumbs up on these videos. I appreciate you guys being here. Alabama has just landed uh, a quarterback who is six foot six. And uh, here with the coaches uh, to talk about it. And uh, let's kind of dive into his film. We'll go full screen on the film. Uh, Jarek from Jan Sports, take it away, man. What do we like about uh, Austin Mack? Tell us about him. Talk about his size, and we'll play his film. Here we go. Yeah, man, Austin Mack coming out of Folsom High School is was one of the best quarterbacks in this region. Um, you're talking about a guy that 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 took his team to the to the Division One level. Uh, state championship in the in the northern region of, of California, very very prominent region. You're talking about competing with other schools like De La Salle. Of course, you got to include Folsom into that region, so you're a cannon. And the fact that he threw for 40 touchdowns, only five interceptions, 3,500 yards passing is extremely impressive. You're talking about a guy that's six six, that that uh, six six, a little over 200 pounds, um, has a long wingspan, has really really good footwork in the pocket. Um, you're talking about a kid that has been going to these elite high school camps in the state of California, working with elite coaches ever since he was a little kid. Um, so this is a guy that 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 is prominent. Like one thing we could talk about the state of California, it is a, you know, it is a free for all when, when it when it comes to talking about elite quarterback prospects. And that's one thing I like about this kid. I really do like about this kid. Now, he's he is the typical DeBoer type quarterback, right? More of a pocket passing guy, but kind of the modern age pocket passer, right? has quick feet, has a strong arm, um, has, right, I think that one of the things that I really, I really do like about this kid is, is his ability to process, at the, especially at the high school level, especially when you go back and watch some of his tape, how he's able to look off defenders, um, how he's able to really throw with a lot of uh, anticipation, a lot of velocity, a lot of accuracy at the high school level. That is something that you got to be impressed with. People forget, guys, this kid's a four-star. Right. It's not like he's a two star or three star that just didn't get any offers. He got a lot of offers from that West Coast Pacific Northwest region, including from Washington with Kalen DeBoer. And, you know, you're talking about an offensive system that is tailor made for quarterbacks like Austin Mack. You really do have to appreciate that um, when it comes to the University of Alabama. Now, a lot of people will be concerned about the competition between Dylan Lonergan, Ty Simpson, what's going on with Jalen Miro. I pretty much can promise you guys, I don't think he's going to be ready for this year. But you're talking about talent that has all the physical intangibles, um, a guy that comes from a system very similar to the DeBoer system. And uh, this is probably the one guy out of all the quarterbacks that is very, very familiar with Grubb and, and DeBoer. So I'm excited to see what this kid can do. Again, you go, you, you can look at the tape right now. You can see how strong his arm is, his ability to anticipate the footwork that he's able to, that, that he's able to work with, um, the power that he's been able to generate. And he also can run, right? I, I think he's a little bit more athletic than Michael Penix. Um, but you know, this is how both, this is how pocket passes are nowadays. They're more mobile than they've ever been before. And that's one of the things that I really, really like. I also like his ability, as you guys can see right here, he's keeping his eyes down the field, right? This is a guy that's not just going to, you know, he, he's not afraid to take off. He can take off, but for the most part, guys, those, his eyes are going to be on the field. He's going to be, look, he's going to be going through his progressions. And that's one of the things that you really have to appreciate, uh, a, like a quarterback, like Austin Mack coming to the university of Alabama. Austin Mack has just committed to Alabama. I'm Kyle Henderson. He is Jarek of Jan Sports, and we got Coach Smook in. Coach Smook, um, when we kind of look to his tape, you've had a few minutes just to kind of look at him um, and kind of go over just some short snaps of him. Uh, what stands out, and tell me what you're thinking in terms of um, him coming to this Alabama quarterback room. I think Jarek brings up a great point about, you know, if anyone's out there and kind of wondering, is he going to be – uh, the guy, um, you know, I don't, I don't think anyone's saying the case, but what do you like about his skill set so far coming in from what you've seen from his highlight tape? Oh, uh, very high upside. I think he sits in the, he's trust his protection a lot, you know, being a bigger body. Um, when you're above that six, four, you get up to six, four, six, five, six, six. A lot of those guys, they worry about, you know, the low, um, you know, the, the low area around the legs when, when guys are rushing him, he seems to, you know, have confidence in his protection. And that's a chemistry thing we know um, with the offensive line. But if he could trust it on that level, um, just imagine what he can do behind a coach, a Scott Huff coached offensive line. Um, Y'all saw the stats with the uh, Washington O line last year. They allowed the fewest sacks in 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 the nation coming into the playoffs. Um, so you look at his upside. There's a lot of upside. Um, my 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 thing is is the footwork for me. You know, I'm a quarterback. I mean, I'm a, I'm a wide receiver. Um, slash I, I help with quarterbacks, so I've been able to sit under the toolage of some very, um, you know, skilled quarterback players and quarterback coaches. And um, you see a lot, a lot of just him depending on his arm strength, which has a lot. Um, if he if he clean up that footwork, which I think he will be able to do in this in this system. Um, and the way that these coaches have developed Penix, you know, Penix had 
minor technique issues and we saw how he just changed and i don't think in this day and age you go you try to tell a kid plant here plant there you just teach them about leverage balance when when delivering the ball um you know learning how to, to judge those spots it looks like he knows when to put touch on the ball he has nice ball control um that's something you want to see with a, a big athletic quarterback uh a lot of things you know he, he kind of reminds me of dj um uh, you a younger lately, however you say his last name, DJ U from that used to, yeah, that used to be at Clemson. That's who he kind of reminds me of with his size, but his technique is so much further ahead. And you remember how much hype DJ came in with? Mm -hmm. I think he can develop, man. Um, don't force him out that too early. He's definitely a one year, two year development guy. Uh, if he wants to stick it out, I think he'll benefit from from this coaching staff. Here with uh, Coach Jarek and Coach Smuka as uh, Alabama lands. Um, Austin Mack, we can get a graphic of him, kind of just the overall. Yeah, this is uh, who you guys got. Six foot six, 225 pounds. And, um, you know, a piece of, you know, news worth talking about tonight. And I think when you look to uh, Alabama's quarterback depth chart, clearly you have already on roster Jalen Milrow, Ty Simpson. Uh, you have Dylan Lonergan, who a lot of people are really excited about as well. Then you have Julian Sen, and now you add on uh, quarterback Austin Mack. Um, look, we're talking about news as it happens right here on Bama Football on YouTube. So hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, Coach Jarek, um, before I uh, get to our next topic and we start talking about other topics revolving around Alabama football, um, you mentioned something interesting about Ryan Grubb and how he utilizes quarterbacks. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that in terms of um, what you see uh, Ryan Grubb and how he uses quarterbacks and what you saw him use in Michael Penix in terms of his development and his skill set and what potentially Austin Matt could bring to Alabama? Well, yeah, Ryan Grubb, one of the things that he likes, and I think Bama fans are going to be excited about this, the ball is out quickly, right? The ball is out extremely quickly, whether if it's screen passes, whether if it's kind of quick, inter like short to intermediate type throws, whether if it's those second to third level, third level type throws even, the ball is out very, very quickly. Uh, one of the biggest issues with the University of Alabama was the fact that Jalen Miro just kept holding on to the ball a bit longer. Now, whether that's on him or whether that's on Ty Maurice, that's something that we can try to debate about, but that was an issue last year. This is something that's not going to be an issue when you're, you know, with a quarterback that's working under the grub system. The ball is going to get out extremely quickly. These receivers, for the most part, um, it's it's like Candyland, right? It's it's an extensive route tree um, that's perfect synergy between a quarterback and a wide receiver, including even their tight ends. You know, notice a lot of their tight ends. They like to run a, like uh, a lot of rub routes, um, a lot of screens, a lot of underneath type routes. Um, but for the most part, guys, yak is very, very important when it comes to Washington and these and Michael Penix. There's a reason why he wasn't touched a lot. He was not touched a lot. And a big reason why was because of the offense surrounding Michael Penix and just Ryan Grubb freeing uh, Grubb and DeBoer, just really freeing up the ability to get that ball out as fast as possible so that, you know, so that he won't get really touched a lot. And they did a phenomenal job, including. Uh, in a way, I actually think that kind of helped Scott Huff. Uh, why, uh, you know, as to why the offensive line won that Joe Moore Award was because of the offensive system that was surrounding a lot of those guys, really elevating the talent level or the talent pool that was surrounding this team. Uh, but no, Austin Mack, you're talking about again the the, the prototypical modern uh, pocket passer, 6'6", 200, 200 pounds, very very strong arm, very nice touch, very very nice uh, velocity when it comes to a lot of his, when it comes to a lot of his throws. Um, and it's just really just him understanding the system, right? And that's why he even took it on was because of the system yeah. and how we can elevate the talent. And so I'm excited to see what this kid can do in Austin Mack. This is a kid that I'm not going to write out because obviously when you look at the physical intangibles, you can't really ignore it. I'll take that all day um, compared to someone that's, you know, that's that doesn't really have the prototypical fits to, to playing under the system. So Austin Mack is something is someone that I'm definitely going to be uh, excited to see how, he, how, he, how he's able to grow and develop in the future. I appreciate it. Good work, Jarek. I appreciate you guys breaking them down. Uh, Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. I appreciate you guys being here and liking the content. Run the thumbs up on these videos. We appreciate you guys more than you know. Uh, coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Fellas, I'll be back here in just a minute.